Hi, this is Bakari with AppleMatters.com. I'm here to bring you a tutorial about an iPad application called WritePad. It is a writing recognition uh, program that works pretty well, and I want to show you some things that I've learned so far. So here we go. Okay, let's uh, launch WritePad, and it launches pretty fairly easily um, and fast. So basically, um, this is the writing recognition program, and uh, you can keep all your documents uh, that you uh, write in WritePad um, here in one folder here. It doesn't have a hierarchy of folders, but uh, at least you know you can be able to save your documents. You can also import um, you know text from other applications as well from the clipboard, and then you can start a new document here. And I've started a new document with some pre-written notes here to kind of just remind me of some things to, to point out and also to just kind of copy what I have here rather than having to think about some new words. But anyway, basically you can write with your fingers or a stylus. The developers recommend a stylus. And basically you can write anywhere on this screen. And they recommend that you don't write you know, like this kind of at, a, at an angle right here, but to try to write as horizontal as possible. And um, But you can write anywhere on the screen and you can use even cursive writing because it will recognize uh, your handwriting. So let's write a writing recognition program. And once you get finished, it gives you a sec about a second, you see, and it types out uh, what you just wrote by hand. Now, normally, sometimes it will capitalize the first letter, but in not all cases. I want to emphasize that this program does, is not 100%. It works about 80% of the time, um, and it works, works pretty well. Um, if you don't like typing all the time on the keyboard and you just want to jot down some quick notes, this is one way of doing it. Now, to get this cursor from this line to the next line, this is the most one of the more difficult kind of parts to do. You use what's called a hand gesture. And see, it doesn't work. Right? If you don't do it fast enough, it won't uh, work. And that's one of the weaknesses of the program. I'm going to try a couple more times. If it doesn't work, I'll use the, the keyboard. And that's one of the weaknesses of the program is that it doesn't always do that. A lot of times it does, but when you're doing a video, um, all kind of things happen. But anyway, so you can use, again, to show you the keyboard, you can use the built-in keyboard for the iPad to do regular typing or to do some editing here. All right, and one of the things I want to recommend uh, for this program is to use the manual. So let's type that out. Now what you can you can do what's called uh, all cap mode here. So use the manual. Okay, and you let it go, and you see it typed it out right there. And one of the things is use the manual because again this program does not work right out the box so basically you're going to click the little uh, button over here to right hand side and then click help and it gives a built-in little um, pdf manual right here that and you definitely want to go over this you don't have to read it word for word but you definitely want to learn the spell checks and how to do the undo and how to do the returns that kind of thing uh, because you'll get frustrated and think it won't work if, if, if you don't go over that so um, it has that part and um, the hand gestures, there, there are quite a few of them. Say if I wanted to, um, you know, if I wanted to write a, per a quick period right here, I have to do a uh, kind of little line across, and it gives me a quick period if I want that. Or I can, um, I can also, uh, of course, I can write a period as well. So let's try to go to the second line again. They really need to have a um, a button dedicated uh, to going to the second line because that is a real big problem with this program. Um, another thing that I like about this program, though, is that you can use um, different abbreviated words or words to do certain commands. So if I were to write all and circle it, it will um, select all the text. And if I want to undo that, I can go here. Or if I can do all again, and I swipe it, and it gets rid of it that way. Bring it back, okay? If I if I do uh, another little abbreviation uh, um, um, command uh, BK, and it type up my name. Uh, let's go here and do okay. 
Okay, and if I write to see the word CM, okay, you can write out the word camera. So is this like a um, text expander program? You can create some abbreviations, and uh, and then when you write out those words, here's my list of abbreviations right here so far. When you write those words out and, and circle them, um, they will expand um, for you. Um, you can also select and edit uh, uh, words just by going here and then holding down. And you can, you know, create a new shorthand if you want. You can cut and copy, or you can select all this way. So it has that kind of built-in feature there. You can also get rid of these lines uh, here if you just want to just want to read it without the lines there. You also have the preference to not even use the lines at all. But the lines kind of help sometimes if you want to, because I think the, the the more that you kind of stay within the lines, right horizontally, the better. Uh, I tend to do a lot of writing in bed. Um, just kind of want to jot down some quick notes. I use it that way. Um, you can also change the font and create your own custom styles here. Um, you can do that as well. So this is really a pretty good program. Um, and I forget how much it costs right now. I'll put it in the show notes, but it's a really good program. And if you want, say you want to, you have some notes here and you want to um, email them to yourself or email them to someone, you, it automatically puts all that text into an email here. And you can even also, if you have an email, like your, your own email, you can kind of use the preferences and have that typed in already for you and put in there. So uh, this works really well. I do a lot of note taking and I just basically uh, put them um, in an email and send it off to my, uh, to my main computer there. And again, it's not as fast as typing with a keyboard, but if, if you're somebody who types all day and you just kind of want to get back to the old writing that we used to do by hand, uh, this is one little program that you might want to check out. It's called WritePad. Um, check it out. Let me know what you think.